Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing more practice with unions, intersections, and symmetric differences. So these are set operations, and this problem is problem 5 from section 1.2 of your free online discrete math textbook, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. Alright, so let's get started. So it looks like we have a universe that has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and we have two sets, A and B. Now, B has two numbers, 2 and 3. So I can put the 2 and the 3 here. I can put the 3 here. I could put the 2 here. Or I can put them both. Or I could put them both here. So those are the four different options. Now, the best way I think we can go about this is first off, one at a time. Now, the best way to go about this, in my opinion, is to just go through each element in the universe and ask, where can that go? So according to part A, the union of A and B has to include one, two, three, and four. So let's go through the universe real quick and just go through each element, starting with one. So is one in A? Well, uh, one is in A or B, and one is not in B which means that if one is in the union, then one has to be in A, and specifically A alone. And so now we just repeat this over and over again with all five elements in the universe. Let's do part B. So next up we have the, so next up, so next up we have element two. So where can two go? Well, two is in B, that's guaranteed. Two is definitely in B, and two is, and two is in the union of A and B. So is two in A? Well, it could be, it, the two could be here and that would be totally fine because two is in B, that works, that's good. Uh, two is in the universe and two is still in the union of A and B. So two could go either in the intersection or it could go here as well, that's totally fine. Three, for three, we have to, first put three in b so three has to go somewhere in here and it's also in the union meaning that three is either in b or in a but it's already in b and so it could be in a but it doesn't really have to be in a just like two doesn't have to be in a so that means three can be in either the intersection or not just as long as it's in b all right, next up we have four. Four is not in B, we know that for a fact. Four is in the union of A and B, but four is not in B, and so if four is in the union somewhere here, so if four is in the union somewhere here, and we know it's not in B, and we know it's not in B, then it has to be in A specifically. So that means four is right over here and it has to be there. That's the only place that that four can be. Last up, we have five. Five is not in B, nor is five in A union B. So five is not in either A or B. So five is outside of both A and B, but still in our universe. So that's A, that's part A. Let's do part B. Part B says the intersection is just the element two. It's a set containing just the element two. So again, we're gonna solve this problem just like we solved the last one. We're gonna go through each element in our universe and ask where it goes. So one, one is not in B. We know that for certain. We also know that the intersection of A and B is two, which by the way, that just means I can put that two right there. But right now we're doing one technically, so kinda have to be careful with that. But technically, we're doing one still, so we need to figure out where this one goes. Well, it's not in B, and it's also not in the intersection of B. So it could be in A, and just A alone. So one could be in A, and A alone. Or, so one could be in A by itself, or one could be just in the universe. That works as well, because then the intersection is still two, so that's good and B is still good because one is outside of B. So this works as well. All right, so we just did two. Let's do three now. 
So three is in B. We know that. Three is also not in the intersection of A and B, which means three has to go right here, right inside B by itself. Next up, we have four. Four is not in B, nor is it in the intersection of A and B. So we can, again, put four either in A or outside of A. I'll put this one inside of A. I'll put this one inside of A. Last up, we have five. So five is not in B. And five is also not in the intersection of A and B. So five can either go in A or in the universe. And I'll just put it in the universe. So this is an example of what it would look like to satisfy all the conditions for part B. Next up, we have part C. What is the symmetric difference of A and B? Well, the symmetric difference is like the reverse of the intersection. It's everything but the intersection of a and b so we know that three four and five are in these uh one of these two regions now we also know that two and three are in b and so if three all right so we're just going to do this problem just like we did part a and part b we're just going to go through all the elements of the universe starting with one one is not in b nor is one in the symmetric difference of a and b so one can't be here and one can't be in B. So one has to be outside both A and B. So we have to put one on the outside in the universe still. Next up, we have two. Two is in B, but is it also in A? Well, two is not in the symmetric difference. There are only two, there are only two possibilities that the number two can be since the number two has to since the number two has to be in b that means two has to be in either one of these that means t that means that two has to either be in the intersection or in b by itself but two is not in the symmetric difference which means that two is not in this region which means that two has to be in the intersection has to be all right, next up we have three. Three is in B and three is in the symmetric difference. There are only two possibilities. We can put this three. We can either put it in the intersection or in B by itself, but three is in the symmetric difference. And remember the symmetric difference is either one of these two regions here, which means that three has to be in B by itself. Next up we have four. Four is not in B but four is in the symmetric difference. So there are only two possibilities for the symmetric difference, only two regions, but four is not in B. So that means four has to be in A by itself. And last up, we have five. Five is not in B and five is in the symmetric difference. So just like four, five has to be over here in A by itself. And that's what this looks like. Anyways, that's all both Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.